Mike Finarzo here at the Jocko Elite Training Center. I've got Camaro and Lorenzo. Uh, Camaro's from Arlington, Texas. Lorenzo's from Italy. We got an international team here, but we got a workout that we're going to do today for you uh, that we typically attach at the end of one of our wrestling workouts uh, just to get a little bit more strength and conditioning. All of our workouts are short. I don't go over an hour, but I will put about a 10 minute uh, conditioning workout and attach it to that workout for our athletes. Okay, we're going to attach a 14 exercise circuit to the end of our workout. It's going to start off doing the same thing they did in the workout, which was wrestling. So they're going to be drilling wrestling at a very high tempo. He's going to be getting as many takedowns as he can in a two minute period. The object here is to focus on really good technique, stay in really good position, and stay very alert. Haru is doing all the techniques. He's the guy that's getting his heart rate up. Lorenzo is his partner. He's being the assistant here. He's holding good position, he's moving his feet, he's giving them a good feel. We don't take a break. We go directly from taking the shots to pummeling and sprawling. So that's the second and third exercise in the group. They're pushing each other, they're hand fighting. They're hand fighting hard. Rolling. The partner is responsible for staying in good position and doing good hand fighting drill and also for giving the command for uh, Marty to sprawl. Sprawl. Sprawl is where someone attacks your legs and you get your legs back and move away from them so you can gain the advantage. This drill will take place for two minutes. Two minutes. The fourth exercise is body carries. He's not choking though. That was his tiny short steps. I have him do this for about a minute, but if you want to go 30 seconds, that's fine. Moving them on. Go ahead and start, Marty. Marty's doing push-ups. All I want is full range of motion, up and down. I want you to keep a good, solid uh, plank uh, position here, and you do that for 30 seconds here in this gym. Wheelbarrows are next. He was tired from doing those push-ups, but I'm not happy with that. I want him to work harder. So now his partner's picking his legs up and more of the weights on the hands. We do this for time, and the time for Marty to do this today will be one minute of wheelbarrows. Move them around a little bit, Lorenzo. Make them turn around. You have to change directions. So the partner can push faster. Make them go faster, or he can slow it down. Wheelbarrows. Good for you. I'm gonna call these over and backs. Over and backs. When Marty's jumping over, as soon as he touches, he goes. Touch and go. Both feet are hitting at the same time. It's over and back. And I might only, I only do this for 30 seconds because uh, I want it to be kind of explosive. Okay, now we're gonna do a bridging technique where he's hopping over and then immediately back to the original position. He's got his partner hooked underneath with both arms. You have to wear a shirt for this one if you're on the bottom. Back and forth. Exploding with the legs, both directions. This is a time exercise, 30 seconds is good enough. Okay, we already carried our buddy on our back. Now Marty's gonna carry his buddy here in the front, getting his elbows up, his head up. He's gotta stabilize his back and he's going to jog with him. Our, our fast walk is actually good as well. This will be done for time as well. I like a minute of this. His heart rate is already up. He's feeling it, he's, prep, he's pushing it. Straight from the buddy carries, right to the medicine ball slam. He's got a 15 pound ball. He's slamming, he's not just slamming, he's using his whole body to slam it. And he's moving his feet. Every time he slams, he's in position. We're always looking for angles and fighting, and we're looking for power. We want for somebody to pull his head out. We want to punish that person. And this is an excellent exercise to use to make sure that happens. wrestling sometimes you end up on your knees and what we need to do is we need to be used to being on our knees and we need to crawl around so right now Marty's going to crawl go a little faster Marty, fast as you can go fast as you can go forward mostly forward sometimes he moves backwards he's working his hip flexors he's getting them to fire fast sometimes you hit a shot and you might need to crawl into position to finish that shot okay so we do this exercise he's changing direction he's 
really working his entire body, he's working his, uh, his upper body as well. Now, Carl, really fast, Mark. Really fast, really fast, really fast. Speed, 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 speed. Okay, moving along, he's got him crawling, now he's bear crawling, which means he's not touching his knees. For speed, as fast as he can go. It's a really high energy uh, exercise, very difficult, you've got weight on your hands. Gotta have it in the circuit. But I say 30 seconds, tops. Sprints, we have to have them. He's already got his heart rate up. Now I want him to uh, engage everything and get his, uh, just get his body moving. And sprints is an excellent way to do this. Uh, it's mental and physical work at this point. And what I'll do is I'll probably, you know, it's not like an outright 10 second sprint. I'll probably have him sprint for anywhere from 25 to 45 seconds at this point in time in the circuit. This is number 14 in the circuit. This is something we do after practice. Now, while he's totally fatigued, his heart rate's at 180 or so. I would like him to go right back to the same drills we were doing before, and I want him to maintain his form and his speed. I'm not so concerned with so much power, and the partner's letting him do everything. He's just staying in good position. But the partner's also getting up fast, getting in that position, and Marty's taking those good, solid shots. I call him Marty, even though his name is Cameroon. <laughs> taking those shots. Good, solid technique. He's not concerned about the way his body feels. He's a machine right now. He's all about, all he's thinking is, I don't care how I feel, I'm gonna win. I don't care how I feel, I'm gonna stay in good position. I'm gonna fight with my hands, I'm gonna fight with my feet, I'm going to stay on top of this guy, and I'm going to show no pain. I'm never gonna let him know I'm fatigued. That's the mentality here at our gym. Never let him know. He's not feeling anything but the victory coming on. He wants to get his hand raised. And I would do this drill anywhere from one minute to two minutes, depending on uh, where we are in our training. Today he's doing one minute. 